The first step in staying lean is to get lean. When I'm talking about lean, I'm referring to about my percentage of body fat, not shredded. I haven't gotten shredded for over four years. This is below 15%, but above 10. Something that will leave you with visible abs. I haven't always been this lean. If you've followed the channel for a while, then you know I carried quite a bit of excess body fat in my 30s and didn't start training until I was 45. Now my body is used to being this weight and I can stay lean year round while building muscle. And you can do this too. Over 90% of people who lose weight eventually end up gaining it back. We want to be that 10% keeping it off. And we do this by applying the same principles used to intelligently lose body fat to maintaining this fat loss. To lose fat, we need to have some sort of calorie management system. Some people will restrict the time that they are allowed to eat, or they'll limit a particular macronutrient like carbohydrates. Others may use a hand portioning system to measure their food. For me, I track my macros and calories almost right from the start. At first, I ate very paleo with lower carbs, but now I've learned a more balanced dieting approach works best for most people. When it comes to building muscle, it's imperative we know how much protein, fats, and carbs we're ingesting. Losing weight is hard. Keeping that weight off is harder. Then it gets easy. Once you've lost that body fat and it's time to go into maintenance, you can start to eat a bit more, but not too much because your body will fight you at that new weight and try to go back to what it feels is normal. Once you've maintained your new weight, your body will, over time, accept it as normal. When this happens, you've established a new body fat set point. If you have a lot of body fat to lose, you might want to lose it in stages. Stopping your weight loss once you feel like you're struggling, and it seems like no matter how little you eat, you just can't lose anymore. Taking some time to maintain your weight at this level allows your body to adapt to a lower fat percentage before beginning to lose a gain. Activity level and training play a critical role in maintaining a lean physique. One thing you'll notice about naturally lean people is that they tend to be very active. So you want to be looking for ways to be more active. I work at a desk, but I have a standing desk too, and I split my time between them. In the summer, I ride my bicycle to do errands instead of driving. I also like to run. And if your main goal is to build muscle, running might not be the best choice but you do need to include some form of cardio into your training. When it comes to weight training, make sure you are training to build muscle. What I mean by this is continue to apply progressive overload to your program, increasing weight, reps, or volume as you progress. Don't fall into the trap of thinking you need to train differently to stay lean. The longer you are lean, the less eating feels like a diet, and the more it becomes a lifestyle, as normal and natural as you eat now. It's just going to be better food than you used to eat, with the majority being whole foods. This doesn't mean you can't have a piece of pie or ice cream, but you do need to learn to manage those calories over the course of a week or a month to keep your weight in check. Over time, it becomes second nature and doesn't take that much effort at all. Once you've gotten lean and are comfortable maintaining it, it helps to build muscle when you're in a small calorie surplus. But this doesn't mean bulking. Some call it a lean bulk, but I never think of it that way. What I do, and I did this last winter, and some of you did comment on my weight gain, is from July to January, I gained a pound a month before allowing my weight to level off. Then come May and June, I'll strip off the excess and enjoy the summer. To help you get started on your weight loss journey, watch this video next to learn what foods fill you up with the least amount of calories and how much of these foods you should be eating to get lean while working out and having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.